While the Minnesota State Legislature is in recess until next week, environmental activists anxiously anticipate a veto for a controversial bill that could change the environmental review process for oil pipelines. As Mel Meyer reports from Cass Lake, the pending legislation still has some on edge as they look deeper at what could be at stake. We do it for the water. Environmental activists have invited residents to come see the aging Enbridge Energy Line 3 pipeline. I've done this for about 10 years now. Marty Cobanes from the Sierra Club is giving a guided tour of where the current line runs, which is in part right underneath Cass Lake. This is your basis of where it starts out at, here, and then goes across this lake which is kind of a scary thing. Enbridge's plan to replace the line is currently pending under review by the Public Utilities Commission. Under their preferred route, this segment would be decommissioned and routed to the south. I grew up on a resort on Cass Lake, and this lake is very special to me. This area, it's pristine, and we want to keep it that way. Many of the citizens are concerned regardless of where it goes. Right now we have to fight these pipelines from being in the ground, and they need to take them out. They need to restore our ground. Under a bill recently passed by state legislature, concerns like this would be removed from the review process. I think most Minnesotans agree that having more public input, more chances for people to have their voices heard on these projects is a good thing. While Beltrami County has not issued a statement about the line or legislation, Commissioner Reed Olson says walks like this remind locals of just how close the oil gets to area water sources. My concern, I should say, is that we are very deliberate and putting the lines in the best place that we can. But for House Speaker Kurt Doubt, he says that environmentalists and the Dayton administration are using the review process to stonewall the pipelines. What they're doing is they're stopping jobs, uh, economic growth, and they're, and they're stopping local property tax revenue for much of greater Minnesota. In Cass Lake, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Governor Mark Dayton says that he believes pipelines should be vetted by the Public Utilities Commission and that he would veto the bill. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.